Business in other counties have also been frozen out of the supply chain because of last week's Arctic blast. San Patricio County reporter Andrew Christensen is live at Cancino's grocery store in Sinton, where he spoke with the owners about how they are dealing with the shortage. Well, Katya, it's been tough talking to these businesses because I'm seeing what they're going through firsthand and businesses like Cavalier's Kitchen behind me tell me they've had to close for a few days because of recent events, while other businesses are telling me they're turning away customers. Eggs, bread and milk are just a few of the items that are hardly found on the shelves at Cancino Grocery Store nowadays. The store says it's facing a shortage because many of their clients bought them during the cold front last week. Usually they'll get orders delivered on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but they're unsure if they'll get them this week. I already called in the order and they said whatever they have, they'll try to deliver to us. They say they've experienced a revenue loss, but the shortage has been especially hard on one group in particular. The elderly and the locals around our area, the, you know, the ones that come to our store, because a lot of them can't make trips to like stores in town, so they expect us to have eggs, milk, bread. Cancinos, which lost electricity because of the outages, luckily had a generator. But restaurants like Cavalieri's Kitchen had to close for three days last week due to the electricity shortage. The owner says their grocery provider is not able to deliver right now because they're in San Antonio and can't get to Cavalieri's. So they're out of about six ingredients and have had to get creative. The milk, we are actually using heavy, like half and half, uh, heavy cream, and thinning it, thinning it down, watering it, watering, I guess watering it down. Uh, thin it out a little bit. Cavalieri's Kitchen is getting in some groceries today, but Cancino's grocery store has not been promised a delivery. However, not all of the businesses here in Sinton have been affected by the food shortage. Like Good and Crisp Chicken, they tell me that it has not affected them. Reporting live in Sinton, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.